For your safety, please ensure you read the full disclaimer located in the description below before you start your training today. Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm a fitness and sports instructor at PSP Borden, and today I'm going to take you through a full body Tabata workout. So what exactly is Tabata? Tabata training is a type of training that's going to utilize a 2 to 1 work to rest ratio. So in our case, it's going to be 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. I have five exercises for you today. Um, this is going to target our full body, like I was saying. Um, this is also a beginner workout, so if you don't have a lot of experience working out in the past, this is going to be a great workout for you to get started. Um, so what are we doing today? This workout is going to be focused on the muscular endurance. There's also going to be a cardiovascular aspect to it as well. Um, we want to work on muscular endurance because it's going to help our body's muscles exert force over an extended period of time. So doing this workout is definitely going to help with that. It's going to be continuous. It's going to get our heart rate up. Uh, so it's also going to work on our cardiovascular health, which will improve our heart health and our mental well-being. So how the structure of uh, the class is going to go today is I'm going to take you through the demonstrations of each exercise. Uh, then I'm going to take us through a full body progressive warm up. Then we'll get into the main work, which will be just over 20 minutes of length. And then we'll do a cool down and I'll do a quick debrief. So uh, I'm aiming to be about 45 minutes for the class today. Um, so I can explain uh, the exercises and go through the demonstrations for you. Um, again, if you have any kind of injuries or anything like that, um, just please be aware and please talk to your doctor before starting any exercise training program. So like I said, I have five exercises today. Um, we're going to be doing full body, so we have lower body, upper body, and there's going to be some core stability in there as well. Um, the first exercise we have is a squat. So I'll go through the demonstration. So again, for each of these exercises, we're going to be doing 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. We're going to be going down the list of exercises till we get to the end. Then we'll have a 60 second break and repeat the round. We're going to do a total of eight rounds today. So again, first exercise is going to be your squat. We're going to stand with our feet about hip width. Now what we want to do before we actually get down into our squat position, we want to make sure that we're properly braced. So what I mean by that is we want to make sure that our core is braced and ready to help protect us and keep us in line as we do the exercise. So from here, we're actually going to draw our stomach in slightly. It's going to come in towards our spine. We're going to feel it start to tighten all the way around to our lower back. Um, this means that it's actually protecting our lower back as we do the exercise. So it's very important before we even uh, think about doing the exercise, we properly brace and get into the right position. So my feet are hip width, I'm nice and braced, my chest is looking out. Now I'm going to sit back by breaking up my hips. As I come down, when you get to a range of motion that's comfortable for me, I can feel my hamstrings and glutes working here. I drive up from my heels, keep my weight back, and back up to a standing position. I'm going to repeat and get as many repetitions as possible in that 20 seconds. Okay, next exercise we have. So we're going to do 20 seconds of that, and then after our 10 second rest, it's going to be a quick transition into our next exercise, which is our high knees. High knees is going to be our cardiovascular aspect of this, so it's going to be very continuous, very high reps, and it just goes like this. So we have two versions of this. Um, the first version is just going to be the way that it's meant to be done. Um, so we're just going to get into our high knees here. Bring our knees up nice and high. As many as possible. We're focusing on a soft landing on the mat. Landing on the balls of our feet. And repeating. So that's the way the exercise is meant to be um, used here. Uh, the level one, so regression of this, if uh, the impact is an issue for your joints, we can just do a high knee marching here. So still bring those knees up nice and high, but we're just doing one at a time so we don't get the impact of the high knee exercise. Okay, next exercise we have is our hand release push-up. So from here, we're gonna get onto our mat into the prone position. It's actually gonna be the same position that we would be in for a 20 meter rush component of our force evaluation. So from here, where my hands are stacked under my shoulders, my toes are driving into the ground. And for this uh, exercise, there's also two versions of this. I'm gonna start with the easier version and then move into the harder version. So the easier version, we're releasing our hands off the ground. I'm pushing my whole body up. 
and I'm pivoting from my knees. So my lower body is actually helping support my upper body in driving my body up from the ground. As you can see, I'm releasing my hands every time I do a repetition here. My shoulders, my hips, my chest, they're all moving in a straight line and moving simultaneously. Now, the level two version of this exercise is gonna be a lot harder, especially as we do Tabata. It's gonna be a lot of repetitions, but if you're up for the challenge, I'm gonna show it anyways. So, same position, hands under my shoulders, my toes are digging into the ground. This time, as I push up, I'm keeping my elbows in and I'm pushing up, pivoting from my toes. I'm not flaring my elbows here and my core is very tight. As you can see, the same thing, my shoulders, my hips, my chest, they're all moving in a straight line. I'm not sagging on my hips and I'm not over or arching on my back. Everything moves as one unit as I come up and down. Alright, so after we're done that, we're going to quickly transition in our 10 seconds to our upper body pulling exercise today. Our upper body pull today is going to be supermans or swimmers. Um, from here, getting in that prone position, I'm going to have my, my chin and chest kind of to the mat here so my head is not craned up. I have a neutral spine. From here, I'm just going to extend my arms overhead to where my biceps are at my ears and then pull back like I'm doing a lap pull down exercise with just body weight. I'm squeezing my lats as hard as I can as I bring my elbows down and back and repeating. It's important here that we also brace our core just like we would in the push up or the squat in any exercise. My core is braced to help protect my lower back from going into extension. All right, after our supermans, we're going to go into our final exercise, which is the bridge. So back to our lower body now. This time I'm in the supine position. So my back is on the mat, head is relaxed, hands at my sides, and my feet, or my legs, and my, or my legs are bent at 90 and my feet are flat on the ground. From here, I'm going to bring my hips up and squeeze my glutes as hard as I can as I bring them back down. We're going to repeat and do as many reps as possible in that 20 seconds. We want to make sure that our upper back is not coming off of the mat and going into extension into that lower lumbar spine. So keep our shoulder blades on the mat, extend up with the hips, and let the hamstrings and the glutes do all the work. If we want to progress this one further, we can do single leg. So same, everything is the same, except we're going to lift one leg off and drive up with that planted leg. And it should be a little bit harder. If we're doing a single leg variation today, we want to make sure that we switch each round to get an even amount of reps. So that was it for the demonstrations. Again, we're going to go through all five exercises, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, until we get to the end. At the end of the round, there'll be 60 seconds of recovery. We'll grab some water, and then we will start into our next round. Total of eight rounds should be a little over 20, 24 minutes of work today. So now that the demonstrations are out of the way, we're going to get into the warm-up. All right, so now we're going to get into the warm-up. Since this is a full body exercise, we're going to do a full body warm up. Uh, so again, like I said before, this is going to be a progressive warm up in nature. I'm going to start with some general movement patterning and work into more dynamic and, and muscular activation exercises. So it's going to get our body warmed up and primed and ready to work out today. Start here with some arm circles. So palms facing the ground, start small, and we'll start warming up those shoulders. Good, gradually a little bit bigger. And then going all the way into that full range of motion. Good, we're going to reverse directions now. Palms facing the sky or the ceiling. Small circles. We're just stirring the pot here nice and small. 
maybe we'll start to feel a little bit of a burn and we make them a little bit bigger. Eventually going all the way, full range of motion. Good, from here we're gonna do a push pull. So let's push and pull. When we push, we bring our hands together and squeeze that chest together. When we pull back, squeeze our back muscles as we come back. Keeping our elbows tucked in. Good, just some arm swings now. Really starting to loosen up here. up, tucking them up towards our chest. Bring them nice and high, feeling a slight dynamic stretch as we warm up that hip joint. Good. Our heels are going to come back now. We're going to do some butt kicks here, warming up those hamstrings. to an all four position, so hands and knees. Hands are going to be stacked under my shoulders, knees are going to be stacked under my hips. From here, I'm going to extend my right leg out till it's straight. I'm going to rotate it out to the side and bring it back in towards my body. So I'm also creating some instability here for my core as I'm on three points of contact with the ground. So we want to make sure we engage our core here to keep us nice and still. As I warm up that hip joint, good, let's switch sides. Left leg straight out, rotate it out and back in. Arms now. So back up to a standing position. I'm going to hinge forward. So when I hinge, I'm going to have some soft, my knees are going to be soft here. I'm going to break at the hips, hinge forward, bring my hands to the ground, walk up into a tall plank, hands under shoulders. Good. Now we're going to walk back up to a standing position. Let's do this three times. On the third time, we're going to walk up to that tall plank. My right foot is going to come to the outside of my right hand. My back leg is elevated. I'm going to bring my right hand to the sky three times. T-spine rotations. I'm going to switch and repeat for the other side. Good. So now we're starting to get into more of that muscular activation aspect of this. We're going to practice a few of the exercises that are on the workout today. So let's start with five bodyweight squats. So again, stand with your feet hip width, brace that core, sit down and back. Hands can be at your chest like you're holding a weight, coming down and driving up from those heels to a standing position. So we get five reps. Good. Let's get down on the ground. Let's perform three hand release push ups. We can do your variation of choice. If you want to do it from your toes, it's fine. From the knees, it's fine as well. So, from here, toes digging into the ground, make sure we brace our core. Release the hands, pop up. Make sure everything in your body leads all at the same time. Good. Three hand release push ups. Let's do three. Uh, Superman's, so in the same position, reaching arms overhead, back down. Good. We're going to do some bridge variations now. So, in our bridge position, 
on our back. Legs bend at 90, bridging up. We're going to pivot onto our heels like so. Walk out our hamstrings until our legs are straight, hips are still elevated, and walk back in. So just keep going and repeat. Don't let those hips drop. One more time. Okay. So that's it for the warm-up. We should be nice and loose and a little bit warm now. Maybe breaking a slight sweat. Slight sweat. I'm gonna grab some water. We're gonna get started in 45 seconds. So I have a timer here. I'm gonna be keeping us on track for the workout today and all uh, each exercise. So you can follow along with myself. I'm gonna be doing the whole workout today. Um, I'm also gonna keep track of each round and all the transitions. Like I said before, 10 seconds rest is a very short amount of time. Um, so it's gonna be a very short amount of time to just quickly transition to the next exercise. So we have to be sure to be ready and start what the next exercise is. We're gonna start setting up now. We're going to start with round one. Our first exercise is our squats. Remember, we're getting as many squats as we can in 20 seconds until the rest period. Okay, we're starting here in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Squatting down, we're doing as many as possible in 20 seconds. We're keeping that core braced, we're keeping that chest up and proud. We're driving up from our legs, our quads, glutes and hamstrings should be active here. Rest, 10 seconds, quickly into exercise number two, which is our high knees. So, so high knees, soft landing, we're getting our knees up. We're keeping that belly tight. We're looking straight ahead, hands can come out, maybe give us some more motivation to get those knees up. And rest into our pro position, 10 seconds, starting our hand release push up. Let's go, release the hands and pop up. Keep breathing throughout these exercises. And rest into our supermans. We have 10 seconds. Let's go, supermans. I'm squeezing as hard as I can, coming down with my elbows. I'm keeping that core braced to protect my lower back. Rest. Rest. 10 seconds until we get to the bridge. So quickly transitioning into my bridge. And go. If we're doing single leg, we'll start with our single leg of choice and then switch and alternate each round. Keep those shoulder blades on the mat. And rest. Okay, 60 seconds. That was the end of round one. So as you can see, it's very continuous, very minimal rest here. We need to be prepared for the next exercise coming ahead in order to stay on track. As the rounds progress, you'll start to find your own pace um, as you go through. So just, what I would suggest is just Find a pace that can work for you and then just stick to it. Um, if you need to slow down, that's fine, as long as we get those reps in, and as many as we can in that 20 seconds. Ten seconds of our rest remains. 
Round two, squats, starting in now. Squat down. Good, now maintaining proper form as I perform each of these exercises. Digging my feet into the ground, give myself a nice base. Rest, good into our high knees. For this round, I'll perform the variation, the regression. So the easier one of the high knees with the marching. This could be great if you have any kind of impact issues, but you still want to get those reps in and not just completely rest throughout the exercise. We're getting those knees up, we're still moving, and we're doing some work. Good, rest 10 seconds, quickly transitioning to our hand release push-up. And go, hand release push-up. Making sure we release those hands every time we get to the ground. It's going to take all tension off and we have to explode up. We're keeping our elbows tucked in. This will help activate our triceps and our chest. And rest into our upper body pulling movement for our supermans. Three, two, one, go. Notice how I'm nice and controlled here. I'm controlling the repetition. I'm making sure I feel every contraction in my lap and in my core. Rest into our bridge. So now I'm going to be switching sides of my bridge. I started with my left, I'm now going to go to my right. With eight rounds, we're going to get equal amount of repetitions, or at least equal amount of rounds for each side. Then rest, 60 seconds. That was the end of round two. Moving into round three. So as we move into the later rounds, uh, feel free to fall back to the regressions. So the easier version of the exercise that I've shown today. Um, if, you get, if you're a very beginner and you're getting too fatigued, um, just fall back to those regressions, get the repetitions in. It's a lot better than just sit, sitting there and resting for that 20 seconds. Um, it'll make the exercise a little bit easier, but you'll still be able to get the reps in. If you're more advanced, um, I urge you to control your repetitions, really focus on that contraction, and focus on squeezing those muscles as hard as you can to get the best workout in. Starting round three in three, two, one, go. Squatting down. So we should start to work up a bit of a sweat now as we have round three. And if we're doing all the exercises with proper form, we should be feeling it. Resting into our high knees. Three, two, one, go. Getting that heart rate up now, these high knees. It's really going to help me burn those calories. Rest. Rest. And release push ups. Go. So if you're doing every round, your push-ups from your toes, very well done. If you have to stick with your knees uh, for the whole workout today, that's still going to be a challenge. Rest. Rest. Into our supermans. Staying in that prone position. Three, two, one. Go, arms overhead, biceps to my ears. 
reaching tall with those hands and then squeezing my lats as hard as I can on the way down. Rest into our bridge. Switching back to my left now. If we're still doing double leg, that's fine as well. Just make sure we either switch if we're doing single leg or just stick with our double leg. We want to get an even amount of repetitions. This will prevent muscle imbalances. Rest, 60 seconds. That was the end of round three. After the next round, we'll be halfway there. So as I was saying in the intro, this is a very beginner uh, workout today. So if you're more advanced or more experienced in the gym, this is probably not gonna be an incredibly hard workout for you. Um, this is more tailored for beginners or maybe new to exercise want to get the movement patterns down and just get a feel good workout. Um, that being said, if you are more advanced, there's nothing wrong with adding some weight implements to this. Nothing wrong with controlling the negative, exploding at the top, all these little tools that we have to really make the workout more effective and more challenging. Um, and anyone can use these tools, but it might be more apl applicable to experienced users today. All right, starting round four and three, two, one, and go. I'm keeping my back neutral here. And rest. Back to our high knees. I'll resort back to the modification for this, the marching. Notice how I'm switching back and forth between my modifications. That's completely okay for this exercise and this workout today. I make sure that I'm working each and every round, even if I have to fall back to my modifications. Resting into our hand release push up. And go. Pop it up. Really important to maintain proper form, especially on this exercise, as it can be a little bit more challenging. And when we start to get fatigued, our form will break down and we'll start to compensate with areas that we don't want to help us in this exercise. Rest. Back in that prone position for our supermans. Exercise number four. Three, two, one, go. Rest into our bridge in five seconds. Switching back to my right. I'm really driving up from my heel here, activating my glute, my hamstring. I'm really thinking about them working as I bring my body up. My core is tight. Then rest, 60 seconds. All right, so now we're past that halfway point. We may start to get a little more fatigued now. But like I was saying before, just maintain that proper form for the exercises. Um, as soon as our form starts to break down, our body would like, likes to compensate for that fatigue in areas that maybe we don't want it to work, like our lower back or some of our joints. We wanna make sure that our, the proper muscle groups are doing the work uh, for the set exercise. Okay, starting round 
five in three, two, one, go. Squats. push-ups. Starting to get really used to these exercises now. I can switch back and forth really quickly. Go. Being comfortable with the exercises that you're doing is going to make all the difference with these Tabata workouts. Staying in that prone position. Really contracting the muscle here. Upper body pulling movements are quite challenging to get a good workout in if you're using just body weight. Rest into our bridge. seconds. That was it for round five. Moving into round six, so we're almost there. Keep it going. If you have some music right now, turn it up. Get that extra bit of motivation to complete the exercise. Complete the workout. Starting round six in 10 seconds. Get ready. Let's go. Back to squats. The form is not faltering at all, even though I'm fatigued. Rest. Back to our high knees. Let's go. Even if I have to slow it down and get less repetitions in, I'm still doing the work that's required. Push-ups. Let's go. Halfway Keep that core strong. Don't let your stomach sag to the back. Draw in. Rest into our supermans. Same thing here. Start with a good position, brace that core as hard as you can, and then begin the, the exercise. Halfway there. Rest. 
Press. Back into our bridge, switching sides. If we're doing single leg. Rest, 60 seconds, going into round seven. Everyone's doing great, keep up the good work. Make sure that we're keeping well, keeping ourselves well hydrated throughout these rounds. Really that 60 seconds is the only time we really get to truly rest, as 10 seconds is only a transition time. So it makes this workout very continuous and very heavily reliant on muscular endurance. Starting in 20 seconds. We're almost there. We got two rounds left. Let's keep it going strong. All right, starting here in three, two, one, go. Squatting down. I don't let my core go soft the entire time. I keep it engaged. Rest. Rest. Back to our high knees. Push-ups. Let's go. Releasing the hands and pushing up. Just like you would on a 20 meter rush, you release the hands off the ground. Halfway there. It relieves all tension, forces you have to contract all the muscles over again. Yes. Rest. To our supermans. Starting here in three, two, one, go. Go. Halfway there. Rest. Rest. 60 seconds, and then we're going into our final round. If you made it this far, well done. what I was saying about really making every repetition count. It's hard with body weight only and no equipment whatsoever um, for some people to get a really challenging workout and really feel like they did something. So I encourage everyone who's doing any kind of body weight only workout really to focus on contracting the muscles that need to be worked and, and focus on making every repetition count in order to get the most out of your workout. All right, starting our final round in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Final round, let's push it. Let's see if we can get as many as we can in at a quicker speed, maybe. Halfway 
really reap the rewards of this workout. Let's rest into our high knees. Let's do it nice and quick. Let's go. Rest, hand release push ups. Let's keep it going. Keep that motivation for the entire rest of the round. Push yourself to do better every time you work out. If this is your first workout, set the precedent now. Resting into our supermans. Three, two, one, go. Rest. Last exercise of this workout today. Back to our bridge. Finishing strong here. That's it. So that's it for the workout. We're gonna take a minute now, let our heart rates come down. We're gonna grab some water and then gonna take us through a cool down. We're gonna stretch and relax the muscles that we just worked today. And we're gonna allow that heart rate to come down. So this will be a total body stretch, cool down. We're gonna leave the static stretching for the end of the workout, and we keep the more dynamic and movement-based warm-up uh, stretches and movements at the, uh, before the workout. So if you got through all the rounds and you didn't have to take any rest and you kept going, well done. Did a very good job. Um, as we get our heart rates to cool down, I can just talk about how we can modify this workout to make it more advanced. Um, again, this is a two to one work to rest ratio. Um, so it is fairly easy. Um, it's only 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. So it does make it continuous. However, if you wanted to make this more advanced, you could do maybe a three to one work to rest ratio where it would be 45 seconds of work, maybe uh, 15 seconds of rest. That would be a lot more challenging. You can add weights to any of the exercises. You know, you can hold Whatever kind of heavy items that you have at home, you can wear a weight vest. Um, you can use bands for your squats or any kind of pull movements that you need. Um, so really just it's trying to find ways uh, to be creative and making your workout more challenging. Okay, let's get into our cool down now. So we're gonna start now with just taking our fingers, we're gonna clasp them together behind our back. And from here, we're just going to roll back our shoulders and maybe elevate slightly our hands in the back until we just feel a nice stretch in our chest and our shoulders. We're really rolling them back from maybe we have a lot of forward, uh, forward rounding in our day that kind of rounds our for, uh, shoulders forward. So this is going to really help them stretch them and bring them back as well as the, the pushing movements that we've just done today with our head release push up. Good. We're going to take one arm now. We're going to bring it inside the elbow of the other arm, stretching out that the other part of the shoulder, the rear delt, our upper back a little bit. Good. Other side.
Good, shaking that out. Good, from here we're just going to get into a lunge position now. We're going to focus on our lower body. We're going to lunge forward with our right. Our, my back left leg is going to be down on the mat. Toe is kind of curled into the mat there. From here, I'm just going to sit into this stretch, into this lunge position. It's going to stretch the hip flexor on that back leg. We're going to find kind of a area that works well and just move into that stretch. Good, from here we're going to stretch our glute now. So piriformis or pigeon stretch. So there's two ways we can do this. Get into our pigeon stretch here. So we're going to get, make a 90 degree angle. I'm going to flex my toe towards my shin to really protect my knee. From here I'm going to try and bring my leg to the mat. I'll feel a nice stretch on my glute meat here. And piriformis. If this one's too difficult for you, we can get into a figure four onto our back. So right. Heel is going to go over our left knee, feed my hands through the floor, and just pull my leg up towards my chest. Good from here, hamstring stretch for our right leg, so tucking. Our left, we're going to just do a modified hurdler stretch here. So important thing here, we're going to point our hips towards our foot, butt cheeks on the mat. From here, I'm going to flex my toe up towards my shin, and then I'm going to reach forward. So if we get all those details, we should feel a very good activation here from our hamstring. Good. We're going to repeat the whole sequence now for the left side, starting in that left lunge position. Stretching out that right hip flexor. Good. Into our piriformis pigeon stretch. Really making sure we're flexing that toe up towards our shin. Good, into a hamstring stretch for our left side now. Tucking that right in. Lining up my hips with that leg. Flexing that toe. And then reaching forward. Good, a couple more here. Gonna get onto our knees. From here, we're just gonna walk our heads out to the street. Chin and chest is gonna go down to the floor. Good, walking our hands all the way to the left side. We're now gonna stretch that right lap. Good, walking all the way to the right side, stretching the left. back to center, back up to the standing position. All right, so that was it for today's workout. Again, we did a beginner full body to bottom workout. Uh, so we did our five exercises uh, that covered the 
muscle groups in their entire body. Again, this is beginner, uh, so this is meant for people who are not that experienced in working out. We did this today with no equipment whatsoever, um, but feel free to add equipment to make it more challenging if you wish. Again, we worked on muscular endurance today as it was continuous, so it's going to really help our body exert force over an extended period of time. We had a cardiovascular element to this with our high knees. That's going to help us improve our heart health and our mental well-being. Um, and then, yeah, we finished off with a cool down to really stretch those muscles out and help us relax. Um, so again, my name is Nathan from PSP Borden. I'm a fitness and sports instructor. I hope everyone enjoyed the workout today and everyone have a great day.